Okay, so I'm feeling quite under the weather, but I still wanted to make this video. So it might sound a bit quiet or I might not talk that much. But as you can see, right here I have a huge collection that I purchased. Got a really, really exceptional deal on it, so I'm very happy to get all of the cards in finally. I have looked at most of them and yeah, they're all in, or neat, not all of them, but most of them are in really good condition, so we'll go through them. Like these will all be hollows or promo cards or other stuff and uh, yeah, a lot of these will eventually find their way onto that market, but I'm not sure. And a lot of these I will probably also grade, but there is just a whole bunch of stuff, so probably not going to be talking too much, but I might do so anyway. But uh, yeah, enjoy the cards and uh, yeah, just enjoy. <laughs> Very off center on the Mewtwo. So these are all uh, like base set to near destiny cards and also a bunch of promo cards. And uh, yeah, as you can see, like the condition on them, some of them I don't know if this is the right one. Some of them are pretty decent, and especially if we get into the later sets. Like, especially the Neo sets, they are all in very good condition. And like Neo Destiny, like most of those cards are all just pack fresh. So yeah, very, very happy with this pickup. And I was running out of like WotC stuff to, to have uh, available in the store. So this is a huge, this one actually pretty cool. It has like a few ink dots and it's also, don't know if I can actually pick it up in the camera, but. It's a little bit hollow bleed, so that's pretty cool. And uh, yeah, very happy to pick this up. There are so many cards, I can't even hold the stacks uh, in uh, in one hand. So those were all of the base to like fossil cards. Here we have the rocket cards, two of the Charizards, and just to show like the condition, like this is what they look like on the back. Like, of course, you can't see any, everything when you watch a video like this, even if the camera is 4K and stuff. Like, it, it's not possible unless you have it, like, in the light, in hand. Or, or I really show it, like, outright with the camera, but very happy to pick these up. A lot of them are in really good condition, and also a lot of these are in condition where I can, like, comfortably list them for, a, uh, for the, the store or card market, so... Happy to get these in and I've been waiting on this for a while. I was very lucky when I was pretty much done like looking for stuff. I was purchasing stuff for inventory and I did one last search and this popped up. Like here we have the the charger. Let's look at the back. Really, really nice. This popped up like the last second. <laughs> like I was just about to, to stop looking at all. And this popped up and I immediately like the, the page that was shown was just a page of trainers it was like in a binder and i looked through it because i thought well okay that's pretty expensive like here we have the sabrina's Gengar. i thought that was pretty expensive for just a binder with a few trainers but yeah there was just a massive ton of cards in there so i think within like half a minute of it being listed i instantly called my middleman <laughs> Just in the middle of the day, he, uh, I called him on his phone and he instantly bought it for me. So I'm very happy with that. Get, of course, gave him a nice bonus as well, because, yeah, I'm, I'm really happy with this collection. And, uh, yeah, as you can see, there's just so many holo cards. And, yeah, it just goes on and on. <laughs> I don't really know what I uh, should be saying all the time, but a uh, really nice swirl on the uh, Ericus Venusaur. So yeah, it will probably take a while for me to go through everything because I'll have to look at whether or not I grade cards, what kind of grades I expect, when I'm going to grade them, like am I going to grade them now with 50 tier at PSA, am I going to grade them with CGC, am I going to just set them back for like lower grading costs or stuff. So yeah, it's going to be a lot of figuring out stuff and then also like listing stuff online. So here we go on to the Neo stack. I think this was just a stray near discovery card but 
yeah, we go onto the Neo cards. Really, really nice. <clears throat> and uh, yeah, <laughs> there's just way too many. Like I, I also like I saw the binder that this was in, that the collection was in, and it showed like, especially when we get to like Neo Discovery, I'll I'll have a look. But like, there's three Kingra here. I just saw one Kingra, and they were all like, like behind each other in just one pocket of the binder and when I saw that I was like a bit concerned because I thought that maybe all of them would be damaged but a lot of cards especially from the Neo were just back <clears throat> we're just back fresh so very very happy with that okay so sorry don't know where it cut out there so just go over this deck again but yeah as you can see a lot of cards also like some of these maybe none of these show up on card markets because they're all in really good condition and I might grade them, but in general, if you're looking for any like WotC collection in Japanese, of course, then uh, I have pretty much everything listed. And yeah, I'm going to stop right here because yeah, this is <laughs> some, this is a card that I've been looking for for a long time, and I was prepared to pay up for it, but yeah, it just randomly came in this collection. It's in really really good shape as you can see there's I think there's a little ding down here there's a little corner nick down here and a tiny thing down here apart from that it's really clean so I'm very happy with this one so yeah honestly like when I saw this and when it actually was there as well like you hear horror stories from people who buy stuff from Japan so I was like yeah I hope the seller actually includes it but everything was included and even more so yeah very happy with all of these cards like as i mentioned most of the neo rev and neo uh, destiny are even like pack fresh and stuff like this this i found this in the stack of bulk like as you can see there are tons of bulk in the background and the program twos and like the steelixes and stuff they were just in the bulk <laughs> they, the person didn't even care like putting those oh here we have two more didn't even care putting those in the uh, in the binder so that was just left in the book <laughs> pretty crazy very happy when i was looking through all of that so let me put this down a little stack left of like the more high-end stuff and yeah this is pretty crazy like these are all pack fresh really nice dark espion such a cool artwork a lot of these have nice swirls as well so most likely I'll grade all of those and uh, we have a whole bunch more cards. Sadly or well, like I can't complain ever <laughs> about a purchase like this, but there were no gold, uh, no shining cards uh, other than the magic herb. And there was also a Mew in here. So I got really lucky with that. Like they didn't have to be in there at all. Like here we have the shining Mew. Really, really nice card. I think there's a little ding on the front even though the card on the back looks fine but yeah there's like a little indent down here but other than that really really clean copy and here we go on to the promos this is not the tropical meta mega battle but the trainers magazine 3 we have a slowpoke and some other cards and let me just <laughs> make a small stack again because there's too many cards and here we have some of the Game Boy promos more Game Boy promos, more Venusaur, and these are, I think this is a, yeah, there was like one <laughs> unlimited Blastoise in here along with a unlimited Abra, so those were the only unlimited cards that I could find we have. Like I'm just skipping over the, <laughs> the, wow, well, no, I even forget the name, the Masaki, uh, Masaki cards where here we have a really cool Oyama's Pikachu Really nice condition. I think there's like a little indent or something somewhere like some of the cards did have binder indents from uh, From the way they were stored, but yeah with with this kind of stuff Especially in the quantity and the condition that I got I can't complain about anything So here we have a really cool card the Gengar Masaki promo Looks really nice, but there's a crease down here and a crease down there. So I might I might keep this one myself. It's a really cool card than the last copy I did. 
gray didn't sell, so I might keep this one. <coughs> and here we have just a whole bunch more. Random promo cards, random band cards. Just, yeah, <laughs> it looks like an infinite amount. And another few things that were pretty cool in this collection. There was, as you can see, this is from the base set, there is no rarity mark. In the bulk I found quite a few no rarity cards, so that's, that's pretty cool. Like those are all in really played condition, but like that's what you can expect for most of those anyway. And as you can see there's just a whole bunch more cards, more band cards, more like exclusives and stuff. It's just, yeah I was baffled when I got this in and I took the entire day to, well okay not the entire day but I took a very long time to look through everything. Here's a lot of the vending cards, which also always do very well. So also I gotta list some of those at some point. So yeah, honestly, huge restock on the uh, on the vintage part of my uh, of my store. So yeah, I'm really excited to <laughs> go through everything like in detail and uh, sort everything out and see what I want to have graded. And also, if you're just collecting sets, like I'll be listing all of these all of these cards as well. Like as you can see, most of them are actually pretty pretty decent condition. Like the older stuff is a little bit less, but I always uh, like put that in the description. And for older cards, I never go higher than excellent condition. So even if a card is near mint or mint, I will still list it as excellent just to, in case I miss something, uh, just to avoid any confusion. But yeah, honestly, I'll just end it off <laughs> with this uh, amazing amazing match card. I'm really happy with this. Shame that it has like a little thing, but I honestly, I never thought I would have one of these like in a collection like this. So yeah, this one's probably gonna stay with me. Very happy with it, and uh, yeah, I'll see you next time.